such a trout. Try to remember, you want to wet your hands. Cool. Yeah, I'll lift her. Guys, here. Oh, huge perch. Oh. Hopefully, it didn't swallow it. Oh, nice one. There you go. That's a good one there. Yeah. Man. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another adventure at LT Outdoors. In this adventure, I'm back at it again on my favorite lake in the world. I'm out on Bonnet and doing some dock flipping today. All right, it's my favorite thing in the world. And even though I did a video recently on it, it gets better, all right? Today was epic and it should probably be good again next week too. I think this will probably be my last time this season just because I got so many other lakes I need to hit this year. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm still fishing right now. It's getting a little cold though. I didn't bring a hoodie, but I'm catching some awesome fish. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> Felt that one smoke it. I think that's a rocky. Yep. Nice rock bass. Awesome. Now today, I was hoping those Rockies would be up in here. It's been warm enough for sure. Today guys, I'm using the green and it looks like a fire tiger widowmaker tungsten jig head and I'm using the white freedom baits ring of fire. But as you'll see, I'm just kind of going along these docks probably one of my favorite things in the world to do is dock hop because there's so many nooks and crannies on a dock section especially the ones that's got a whole bunch of boat hoist for jet skis and all other junk but it's great docks are awesome structure especially this time of year the fish are bedding around them you can almost bet especially when the rock bass come up and the small mouths that there's going to be a rock bass or a smallmouth bed at at least two of the posts on that dock so there's usually at least two good fish around each dock as long as you got enough water like right here i'm in three feet that's perfect for them anything over that's good too you just don't want to be too shallow but yeah i'm just going to kind of cruise along i'm on vanetten lake by the way my favorite lake up here just going to cruise along throw around these docks What's nice about this little tungsten Widowmaker jig head, I don't usually use small jig heads like this, but I'm telling you, I think it's I think I'm onto something here because this little tiny jig head causes that ring of fire to go down really slow. And especially with these fish that are on the beds, it causes way more strikes. Because that's what you want. You want cover time over that bed. You really don't want to go fast. I mean the faster you you drop on that bed the more chance you got a spook in the fish but if you're slowly dropping on it you're going to anger that fish and it's going to grab that bait i got a really good dock coming up here <clears throat> that's another rocky yep i got a really good dock coming up here guys it's got a whole bunch of uh good hoists on it i need to get a 12 incher for the michigan master angler that is very hard to reach I catch a lot of 11s out of here and 11 and a half, but yeah, 12 is going to be a tough one. Ooh, that's a big bass. Large mouth. He was under that boat. It's a big one. Oh, there we 
was a hit. Oh my god, giant. There we go. Oh, that's got to be a pike. That's not what I'm after. It's not a crappie for sure. Yeah, it's not bad, especially for four pound test. day smoked some pike and I'm telling you it was freaking delicious it had the texture of walleye so I'm gonna start keeping a pile of pike we're gonna have a big old pike smoke that was the very first cast guys I just put on a I thought I'd try the white two inch freedom baits hornet and uh, yeah on a panty harness guys two inch little dinky thing here and that pike just pounded it there we go that's a bass <laughs> little snolly there by that boat hoist
Ooh, that's perfect cast right there. That's gonna be really. Oh my God, that's rock bass. That might be the biggest one I've ever caught. I would normally not net a rock bass, but wow. Look at that, folks. That's a, that's a measure worthy fish right there. All right, let's see what we got going here. Oh, God. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Oh, under the hoist. <laughs> Another giant rocky. Oh no, that's a smallie. I skipped it under that hoist, man, and that thing smoked it. Good cast, usually get good rewards. Oh, that right here. I didn't see a fish. I assumed that he seen me and spooked off, but <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a pike. That's a pike. Keeper for sure. That's a happy fish. Look at that. He swallowed that. I'm lucky he didn't break me off. That jig. That jig is just gone. 
folks. 28 and a half. That's a good eating fish right there. Get some good fillets out of that. And that's my limit for pike, folks. We're only allowed two in the state of Michigan anymore, so. Alright, let's keep on fishing. Ooh, there we go. Another big rock bass, man. That's a good eating size there, probably a 10. Ooh. <laughs> Little bass. That's a good cast. If there's a fish under that dock, that's going to get it right there. Ooh, yep. Big, big. Oh, that's a smallie. Ooh. Oh man, another giant rock bass. Wow. <laughs> now this one, I'm going to weigh. I know it ain't going to make the length. It's probably only a 10. It's actually pretty short. Yeah, it's 10 on the dot. It's pretty short for how big it is. That thing is a freaking tank. <laughs> that is a one pound three ounce rock bass right there folks what an awesome fish oh That's another big rock bass, guys. It's another tank. Awesome. Ooh. I didn't think I'd get one on that cast. That wasn't that close to the dock, but I guess it was close enough. <laughs> Again, kind of a small, small mouth. I'm not really seeing the beds today, but I'm betting the majority of these that I'm catching are males. And that's a good sign. I mean, I really didn't want the big females still spawning when the season opens up. Ooh. Giant rock bass. I'm gonna weigh this one and measure it because that's a big, big rock bass. Uh, 11 and a quarter, but I am gonna. seven ounces that's funny this fish even though it's you know an inch 
and a quarter longer than that one, it's not as heavy. Ooh. Hit it on the drop. Big rock bass. God, these things are enormous, you guys. Wish you guys have no idea <laughs> just how big these are. I mean, it is insane. It's another 11. Unbelievable. Oh, crap. Oh, I got it. He was running at me. That's a bass. A little bigger too. I wasn't ready for that. can get into some big ones. There we go. Yeah, that's a big fish. That's a real big fish. Another big one. Right off the end of that dock. Getting into some good fish now. Through my worm. <laughs> oh he got off. That's alright. <laughs> Small bass. Off of a, I'll tell you that dock doesn't have much going for it though, but. Don't always uh, just skip a dock because it's not that great looking. The fish are there for the. It's not a bad bass. The fish are there for the shade. <laughs> Almost too much to lift in the boat. Another nice fish. Good quality, man. You idiot, Lowell. I should have had that fish. Got him that time, though. Came back for round two, baby. <laughs> hmm. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pipe. Another good pipe, too. Boy, he was shallow. God, what a nice pike. Seven and a half. I'm gonna check in the live well if my smaller one is still good and lively. Oh yeah, he's perfect. Cool. I'm gonna swap him out. This is what you call culling. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless your fish are very good, as you can see this guy is. So there he goes. <laughs> That's a solid fish. Right by that boat hoist. Oh my god, is that rocky? It is. That's a big rock bass. Golly. Another tanker. There's a bass bed over here too. I just seen it. Bed. Couple of them. Another nice smolly. Just a couple pounds. Good one, though. Another one. smaller than the last one but chunky fish nonetheless it, these two beds are only I don't know maybe 10 feet from each other and that's pretty rare usually they don't bed that close oh right the end of that dock in there.
Ooh, that was a solid hit. That's a big fish. Thought it was a pike at first, but it's a big smallmouth. Hard to beat that dock hit, man. They come out and smoke it. Man, that's a big one. That's a big fish. Not very went long, but that's a heavy fish. It's nice too, because usually these lures, because it's such a little jig, they just barely got it in their mouth. But it's enough. It's got a good hook on it. It's only a 17 incher, but let's see how much it weighs. Should be at least two pounder. Three, nice. Three on the money, guys. That's a good fish. Heaviest of the day. Hi, baby. Ooh. Another fighter, man. Wow. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a heavy one. Definitely weighing that one if I get it in. Try not to be too cocky anymore because that's when you lose them. Fight's not over till it's over. Again, he just inhaled it. That bait is gone. But I can just pop my finger in and Three on the money again. Nice. Oh man, that fish hit really hard. Another heavy, nice fish, man. I was gonna head home, but I've seen a few more docks. <laughs> Put some right out. I'm not even gonna mess around weighing it. It's looks like another. Probably three pounder. Beautiful. Oh, you idiot. There it is. Like I said before, guys, good cast <laughs> like that usually end up with good rewards. Another big bass. I'm glad I stopped at these last docks here. <laughs> <sighs> I lost him and almost caught him in the net.
big shout out to my monthly patrons. Thank you guys so much for signing up to Patreon. Sign up today, guys. You can sign up for as low as a dollar a month, and it helps out a whole lot. This season at LT Outdoors has been brought to you by Freedom Baits. Go to freedombaits.com and use discount code LT Outdoors. Gets you 10% off. Also, Widowmaker Lures. My favorite lures are on this website. Go to widowmakerlures.com. Use discount code LT Outdoors. Gets 10% off. Stone Tackle. StoneTackle.com has some of the best ice fishing tackle boxes available. Go to StoneTackle.com and use discount code LT Outdoors. Gets you 15% off. And Hizia.com. Check out Hizia for a great line of outdoor footwear. Use discount code LT15. Gets you 15% off. And if you're looking to get LT Outdoor lures, you can visit these wonderful locations. You know, you're like a penguin on the North Pole. Here's the South Pole. It's really nice this time of year. There are no penguins on the North Pole. You want to feel how hard I can punch? <laughs>